Hello everyone, this is GT Time and I am your moderator, Kyle Bossman, and joining us as always is our uniquely talented and knowledgeable panel, including sitting in for Brandon Jones, Michael Huber! Big shoes to fill. The biggest. <laughs> <laughs> Daniel he Bloodworth is your boss, next though, to him. Right? Yeah. yeah, Huber's my boss. <laughs> uh, Daniel Bloodworth! Hi. And sitting in the guest seat, Ian Hink. Hi. Uh, I have a flow. I have a flow of uniquely talented and knowledgeable panel, including Brandon Jones. And like, I was trying so hard not to get into Brandon I heard Jones. You, almost you should say do it. Yeah. wickedly talented. <laughs> it's really close to that. <laughs> wickedly talented, Michael Huber. Uh, Ian, you're in a guest seat this week. Oh. Uh, one thing we've been doing in the intro of our show is ask our guests uh, how this person has come to GameTrailers.com. How'd you get here, and uh, why? Well, I was working for Satan at This Week In, uh, and then... Hold uh, on, I don't, what is This Week In? It was a horrible, stupid, terrible company run by a megalomaniac psychopath. Okay. Uh, and then, so I hard quit that because in a few weeks, I had a two-week stint to help game trailers with E3. I think Matt Robb, who now works here, not for game trailers, but for like Smosh or whatever, uh, he had like a friend on Facebook who was friends with like, I don't even know who, probably Meg, but I don't know, mm -hmm. who was like, hey, if you're an editor, uh, send us your resumes for E3. So I did, uh, and then I worked like a week and a half for E3, and then I was like, hey, if you need anything else, whatever, and then like a month later, they, Bobby called me back in, and I worked for another couple of weeks, and then like a couple of months after that, he called me back in, and then I was just, I just went to him, I'm like, I'm just gonna keep coming in, is that cool? <laughs> and he was like, yeah, until the end of the year, and then like, December came around, I'm like, I'm just gonna keep coming in, and then, and then like, now it's four years later. How'd you transition from lowly editor to Ian Hink? Uh, I've always trailers. been Ian Hink. How'd you get to like be on t on camera? How'd you get to oh. like get sh make shows and things? I don't know. It just kind of slowly started. Like you started putting me in stuff, and like I started so showing just, up. You did stuff with finger. Yeah, I mean, we did seedlings, uh, which Game Trailers licenses from us, so we retained ownership of that. It's but, true. Um, you were in front one of our first not funnies. Yeah, I think the not funnies had something to do with it, and then like we just started doing just plays and stuff, and then. Uh, we, Elise and I had been like, hey, let's rip off Weekend Update and do that, but with video games. Uh, we wanted to call it GT Update, but then they didn't like it, so we came up with Mandatory Update. Way which, better which title. Which grew on it's me. It's a yeah. way better title. It grew on me, yeah, yeah. I like it. Uh, and it stands alone better, but uh, I, think, I think Jeremy finally pushed for that, I think probably because he knew that the company was going to get bought. So he thought maybe if we had a show, we wouldn't get fired. Who knows? I don't know. So he saved us. I, yeah, I think that's probably a good Pretty, theory. Yeah. So <laughs> Jeremy, Jeremy saved Elise and I. You're saying the only reason that they're here today is, is mandatory update? Pretty good chance. Ouch. I would Damn. disagree with that. I think that they have. I mean, I think Ian might have might have been on anyways, but I th yeah, I think. Yeah, so uh, just to be clear, Bloodworth, you, th you think Elise. Elise's only value is what she does for Mandatory Update? No, but I think it's like a bargaining chip. Okay. Like, when you talk to people about visibility and like, hey... For you the don't powers ha that be, it's, if you it's don't easier have to... These, yeah. yeah, if you don't have these people, you don't have this show. Because yeah. let's like, be clear, have, yeah. like, this whole place would fall apart without Elise. Like, yeah, she, absolutely. She is the spine and glue of this company. Mm -hmm. And I think she's underrated. If I were sick for a month, she's underrated by herself. But but well, yeah. And if by the I staff. broke my pelvis and I was out of work for a month, no, it would go fine. Game trailers would be fine. It would be unimpacted. <laughs> <laughs> Final boss man in the hospital. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I would do a little broken pelvis episode. <laughs> broken. Uh, <laughs> now I want you to break your pelvis. <laughs> let's, <laughs> <laughs> let's do it. Let's start with some corrections. Uh, Brandon said last week that you can't stop the music in any Final Fantasy games. This was incorrect. In Final Fantasy 11 and 14, you can stop the music, and also in 13 on the Xbox 360, you can stop the music. Just the 360 version. Just the 360 version. It's because so specific. That's it's mandatory, weird. and that's also kind of a clarification: is that we talked about custom soundtracks and how much we love them. Apparently, 360 mandated that you could do custom soundtracks, huh. and we didn't give it enough credit for that. I remember back in the day, you could do it with like Quake. Mm -hmm. If you like put a CD and then. Drive, it would play them. I don't know if it's Quake or I on PC. Quick, Quake on what platform? Yeah, on PC. Okay. I used to just have Napster 
running in the background when I played CS, and that was my custom soundtrack. <laughs> what, what do you mean Nap Napster is just where you download? Music. I would like download. I would download them and then just like play them. Mm -hmm. You just yeah, be running both could, programs at yeah. the same time. Yeah. Oh, okay, that's awful. Anyway, okay, but, uh, but yeah, I, I, I yeah, I think Brandon Brandon Jones's perspective was probably just you know behind the times because he was talking particularly about when he was doing the retros. Yeah. He and wasn't, so, he wasn't and so those games, other games. than 11, those games have come out since then. Yep. Uh, also, the PlayStation 4, after 2.0, it's firmware update, you can play music on your PlayStation 4 now if you have a USB. Off of a USB stick. That's such, yep. such a weird way to do it. Hey, why not, man? I think it's weird playing music on your PlayStation at all. It's so good. I've never done that. What if I've never needed to do that. Your speakers yeah. are hooked up to that. You know what I mean? Yeah, that's the, that's the reason I did it on the PS3. But it's weird to me that now, like, you just... It'll play the music, but it can't be copied to the drive. Like, what? That doesn't make sense. They're just trying to protect their butts. Oh, uh, uh, no, they want you to do Spotify. Uh, ben was wrong about one thing. Oh, mostly most free versions of Spotify, actually, you can play the full album. It's only his weird, dumb little Android version where you can't play the full album. Yeah. Hmm. And that, Taylor Swift is not on there. Well, it's not yeah, on Spotify. There's, there's, she took her music off. Yeah, Why? There's, there's different artists. Because they screw you. Yeah. yeah. Okay, Any this is interesting. <laughs> that argument already out. happened in the comments. Spotify. Yeah, because there was somebody fighting back, and they're saying, actually, Spotify is really good for artists. Do your research, Brandon Jones. Oh, I'm pretty it. sure they're Pennies. like legendarily bad for artists. Yeah, wow, okay. Bad. I mean, so, I'm, not, I'm not like, I haven't like read the contracts, but that's what I've heard. I have a friend who's in a band that's nothing big, but he gets pennies. Pennies on the dollar. But I mean, he's like low, low, low. But also, fan if there's like a little Michael versus... Hubert on Napster downloading music illegally, he gets. This zero was the the very beginning of downloading music yeah. when illegal downloads was no a foreign concept. No, I'm sorry, Hubert, I can't feel. I bad. never had no. Pirate Bay. No. I buy all my CDs. I buy my games. This is I disgusting. Do not I can't. It's oh like you were talking God. about last week. Like <laughs> purchasing even. things is easier than stealing. Don't even spread <laughs> these lies. <laughs> Huber's a thief. I buy everything. Uh, last week, we have an important <laughs> update. You can play as dinosaurs in Lego Jurassic Park. Whoa! And corrections music. Whoa! Telltale came out this week and like, said, you can do it. You nice. can absolutely play as dinosaurs Goaty. this week. That's fun. Uh, maybe Goaty. The teaser was great. You saw it? Mm-hmm. I don't know. If a dinosaur's jaw is going to drop off, I need it to be motivated. Wasn't it Lego Undercover, right? You could be the T-Rex? Or like the big dinosaur. You can, I think you can ride a you can ride a dinosaur yeah. bones T Rex. That's right. That's right. You can ride. Oh a yeah, yeah, yeah. Super I know what you're talking about now. Yeah. Just <laughs> like in the Night at the Museum game. Just like in the Night at the Museum. <laughs> and we did ride it too. That's it, was so super, it was super unexpected <laughs> in that game. Sorry, spoilers. In Night at the Museum. No, in Lego uh, City. Lego. Oh. I'm sorry if I just spoiled it. <laughs> spoiled Lego, yeah. whatever it was. We can put a spoiler. One of the best income. ones. Now we're not going to do that. <laughs> Wii U exclusive. Mm -hmm. Oh, still. Mm -hmm. My goodness. Well, I think Nintendo. Has I'm holding out hope for that. that. Neo yeah. Geo port. The uh, 3DS one. It's prequel. Are we yeah, going to talk about Persona 5 in Origins this show? Did you want to? We can start with Persona going to? 5. I don't think we need to. Persona. They already kind of did that. You don't think we need to? Because this is a new. This is a new show. Well, for no, one, no. nobody. Persona put 5 it on. trailer was good. Is the news? Yeah, so we'll nobody talk about put that. Put it on the rundown. Sure. We had a 20 minute thing that went up yesterday. Yep. But let's talk about it. So I just want to say I didn't get to see it yet because nobody put it on a rundown. The colors so. are great. So you didn't get to see it you because it wasn't on my rundown. You didn't watch the Persona 5 You're, trailer immediately when you woke up. You're telling me the only things no. you look I at on the internet at are the things the that are on my rundown. <laughs> I watched when I'm it prepping at 10. for a show, yeah. But when you send out the, the thing, like right before we shoot. Yeah. I like it. We're feisty today. So this was at the end of a 30 hour Feist stream, party. right? 30 hour stream, mm -hmm. 4 like 07 in the morning. 30 hour stream? You mean 30 minute stream? 30 oh. hour stream. This was a, over a day long they stream. Go nuts. They're, they were so doing crazy. Persona what? 3 movie, Persona yep. 4 dancing oh, all night. I see. Persona news everywhere, mm -hmm. and it ended. It culminated. I want that dancing game. Oh, yeah. What system is that on? That's Vita? Yeah. Yeah. A dancing game on the Vita? Canon. What's canon. going on? I love that all these weird it's other so ancillary weird, games yeah. are canon. Uh, so, okay, at the end of a 30 hour stream, we are gifted with the first ever gameplay. Real gameplay, good trailer. Such a good trailer. One of, like, e it's an early year, easily the best trailer of the year so far, in my eyes. I mean, we're only in February, but still. Uh, it just. Better than Curse of the Sad Mummy? Easily. What? Which I've never even seen, never but I'm just going to say it's better. It's it was, better. It was, it was good. <laughs> Kyle's the only person who didn't like it. Uh, it just crammed so much information 
into a two and a half minute thing. Any trailer that shows a menu mm -hmm. and it's like really exciting. Yeah. Showed the menu, showed anime cutscenes, oh, showed so classroom, showed uh, traveling in the city, showed combat, showed the party members. And it's only like two something minutes long. Yeah, okay. they showed everything. But since this is like a current events show, what can we learn about this trailer's premiere in a, in a current events perspective? That this game can't come out soon enough. Was <laughs> it the right way to reveal that? Oh, speaking Absolutely. of, did they talk yeah. about when it will release? They did no. not. No release date no. still. No release date. Bummer. Ben yeah. was messing with me. I was like, when does this game come out? And he's like, today. <laughs> and I was like, no, for real, when does this game come out? It looks like it could come out today. It looks in good shape. Didn't yeah. something do that just recently come out today it was announced? PT. Maybe it was no. Well, I think <laughs> it was Indigo Good pulling Prophecy. In. That was immediate. Indigo Prophecy HD came out like announced, released. Mm. Also, uh, the Game of Thrones Telltale. They were like, oh yeah, this comes out in like a week and a half. Yeah. And everyone was like, who ca who cares? Who cares? Well, yeah, they kind of do that all the time with their games. But the thing we learned, the biggest takeaway from the Persona trailer was how opposite of Persona Four it was. It was. It's red now. You are of not. Yellow. You are not innocent high school children. You are thieving. A. Oh, teenage adults, I guess. I, I kind of like. I like the idea of. Are they a gang? Is that what it is? They're they're thieves. They're yeah. they're stealing something. So we don't know if there's gonna be heists. I sort of hope or... you're the bad guy. It yeah. can't be more opposite. I kind of hope you're. This the is bad what Huber said. Game. It can't be more opposite. You're not teenagers. You're young adults. Yeah. He said teenager adults. Teenagers. But you which said is they're not in a the classroom. Still. There's cla you're not. You're not in a small town. You're in a in a big, big city. city. All right. I think All right. It, I'm just saying. I think it could be more opposite. I don't know. It looks. Pretty, I mean, it could be like. I a, mean, yeah, you could be old men. Or it something. could be like yeah. a first player chess game. Yeah. yeah, then it would be more. It could opposite. be an FPS. Yeah. First person. Right. Okay. Thanks for coming. So that's <laughs> our right. Persona right. Five. We did it. We I covered just, it. We just had to. We can't not talk about. It. Uh, so there was a a wow. I, I like to start start the show with game announcements. Uh, I don't know if this counts. It counts. Let's just start from the beginning. It counts. There was a thing called Taipei Game Show last week. Oh, this thing. Yeah. Yes. This thing. <laughs> this thing. Exactly. <laughs> it's kind of like an, oh, this is, should I pay attention to this kind of thing. Right. Because uh, nobody knows. Well, because like a lot of those things, you know, like they show games that are already out in Japan and the US. Yes. You know, so. And so there was a Sony press conference, and this is what was happening. This, this montage we've seen a thousand times. It's like, oh, the Phantom Pain's coming out. The Order's coming out. Then... A weird little stupid thing in the editing of this montage. A bunch of jump cuts. You see a car turning, you see Batman for a second, and then you see this two that is the Metal Gear Rising font. Just the two with a black background. And then we're back to Batman. Each in like a, less, a fraction of a second. You did not, that two was not intentionally there, at least seemingly. Uh, just flashed by very, very quickly. And so we're also like, well, hold on, what, do they just tease Metal Gear Rising 2? Then, the next day, Mr. Jeff Keighley sends out an interesting tweet. It says, Slice that rumor. Good pun. <laughs> nice work. Great pun, nice work. Keighley. Yeah, that Jeff deserves an applause. That is great. He's also Game Slices, his, his brand. Too. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, wow. my God. Keighley, like he's, like, he's just doing genuine reporting there. And this is how he knows he's delivering this news. He starts with, Slice that rumor. No Metal Gear Rising 2 tease at Taipei Game Show. Spoke to at Ken155 from Koji Pro Live. It is not true. So then everyone was like, what do you, how could that possibly not be true? That's yeah. clearly the two from Metal Gear Rising 2. Uh, later, Kojima Productions themselves tweet, the trailer screen, screen cap in question is from SCE, Sony Computer Entertainment, and not affiliated with Kojima Productions or Metal Gear. We'd like to say thank you to the fans for their enthusiasm, but to clarify, we did not tease a new game at the Taipei Game Show. They're teasing it. They're teasing it. <laughs> I think what happened is, whomever this editor was, uh, whoever this editor was, got a hold of some footage that should not have been there. Maybe Sony has a weird shared drive. But I that, mean, but that that there's no there's no possible way. Yeah, Ian, you're an editor. Like, what, yeah. how would this two it would, get in there? It, yeah, like exactly. unless unless Konami and Sony Computer Entertainment America are like working on it together. And they're like pre prepping a trailer or some, or like the same, maybe the same like editing house is making the Batman trailer that's making the Revengeance 2 trailer. Like, someone just had too many project files open at once. Like, yeah, but that still, that doesn't happen. Yeah. Like, 
but it's weird. I mean, I haven't seen this, mm -hmm. so you just it described is, it. It to is me. super weird, but honestly, like because because what they do is like what you like you see a little bit of Batman and Drive Club, and then there's two, and then we're into Batman, and so it's it's like there is a gap. It was like somebody had a bunch of crap, and then they had a clip on top of it, and they cut that clip by accident, and the crap underneath was still there. Yeah, that's it's, what it's that's the way weird. it looked. Because it starts with Batman and comes back to Batman. It's all like put into even controller shots of the controller. Yeah, it's somebody so messed weird. up. It's coming. I mean, is it cut to music? Is it like on the beat? It's not on the beat. No, those so things it, are not on. So any it doesn't beat. seem like a correct edit. Right. No. It oh, looks, I mean, I'll need to watch incorrect. it later and see. But yeah. like, I mean, that that'd be really like that editor would be out of out of their it, mind if they were doing that accidentally. I think the big thing here is it's the boy who cried wolf. It's Kojima, right. you are a master troller. I don't believe a word you say ever. You right. say this isn't a game. I'm saying too bad. Your reputation precedes you. Revenge of 2 is coming. You yeah. gotta go into this reputation. So when else has he said, I promise that this is not that like that time when they were like, David Hayter's not in Phantom Pain, and then he totally was? So, like, I think the example you're thinking of is, is Phantom Pain. Is, oh, yeah, I'm not making Phantom Pain. Yeah, project over. Yeah, he's yeah, like, I'm yeah, done yeah. with Metal Gear, yep. like, yeah. five times. And that's that's Joaquin Mogren. That's not me. Yep. That whole Phantom Pain thing. Yep. Yeah. Just, it, like, showing up with that, like, mummy rap, and, like, everything he does is, like... Oh, yeah, the mummy stuff. I forgot about that. Moby Dick Studios. Yeah. yeah. Here we go. Yeah, I, 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 I think that's the thing. That, like, that's the biggest question is, okay, it doesn't feel like that intentionally should have been there, but where the heck did it come from? Right, mm -hmm. yeah. Somebody was, had to make that, too. That, too, yeah. doesn't exist anywhere else. And either way you slice it, Keely right uh, there. Keely. Uh, uh, <laughs> it's intentional or not intentional it's, it is a great way to create buzz without admitting anything. Now everyone's talking about it, the word is out there. You still have your reveal trailer, which is, you know, however far down the line, and your game is on the radar. Revenge 2 is now on the radar. Plus when like, nobody was thinking about it at plus all. Plus like in yeah. this in this in this time of leaks, like leaks are this rampant thing, like leave it to Kojima to like comment on that in some weird way with this like meta like Super leak, you know, where it's like it's, a it's like leak. such a like weird, yeah. tiny, like insignificant leak, but then they're all like, nah, 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 it's not nothing. No. Like it's it's a leak in that you just like completely hard deny that it even exists. But yeah, like who's making this two? Somebody went into Photoshop yeah. or yeah. Maya or whatever and made a two in this font. Like either someone's got to answer for this two. Yeah, either yeah. there's someone who made this did two. that two for no reason. Yeah. Or, I don't know. I'm gonna learn Mandarin, I'm gonna go talk to this editor and say, where did this two come from? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it could be, it could, I mean, I would almost say that it's more likely that it's someone just trolling. I'd say it's more likely that someone just made a two to mess with people and shoved it in the edit, like the editor, just to like mess with people, mm -hmm. than it would be then that like, they accidentally had this weird two from some other company and, and it snuck in there somehow. Cause that just like yeah. pretty much doesn't happen it, when you're cutting stuff. It yeah. is super weird that it's connected to Batman because Kojima has no yeah. connection. Well, it's not connected it's to Batman. It's clearly like there. Again, there's, 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 drive there's a drive, in there. Yeah, there's yeah. a drive club shot yeah. there. There's the controller just shot. Just within the yeah. whole thing. But I mean it's, like, yeah, like unless like the only, like, Cause when you're editing, like you don't just have stuff under other stuff. I mean, unless you're just a really sloppy editor. But That's like, how I edit. They could have like <laughs> hit cop, like paste or something. Like I don't know. I don't but buy I've seen that. But i those it, editors. Right. I mean, that's true. I guess. But like, <laughs> yeah. I guess I've seen some pretty terrifying timelines in my day where I'm just like. They're jumping, jumping into somebody else's project is like trying to walk into the mind of a madman. And they're probably using like Final Cut X and they just have like... Oh, <laughs> oh if, they were using, if they were using Final Cut X, then yeah, yeah, this was just a mistake because that, that is not a real editing software. It created the two. Yeah. <laughs> Final Cut was like, this is what you're going for, right? Somehow like all the letters got merged together and it became a two. Uh, but realistically speaking... Uh, there's a two. Yeah, there's, there's a, a two. Vengeance two. It was Platinum's most successful, best-selling game. I, there's a, Did Kojima like have anything to do with it, though? Cause he had Platinum, a little bit, but not a ton. It was yeah. mostly Platinum. Right. With uh, their original ideas, basically, from Kojima Productions. Well, I miss Pla Metal Gear Rising. Platinum doesn't do Batman or anything. Like They're not mm -hmm. helping on the new one or some weird thing that I don't know about. Okay. No. Yeah. Can, we, can we guess yeah. 
titles now? Metal Gear Rising Revengeance 2 Payback? No, no, Metal Gear it's Rising 2. It's gotta be some, some other sweet Some word. other bizarre made up word, like yeah. recompensing. Metal Gear Rising pensioning. 2, letter rip. <laughs> Jack's back, baby. <laughs> That whole thing's the title. Jack's <laughs> yeah. Back Baby is part yeah. of the title of the game. You have to say the whole thing. <laughs> Let her in. How funny would it be, though, if, if Platinum Jack. hasn't been working on this, and they're like, hey, guys, yeah. let's do this. Oh, people want it. <laughs> I like that, too. <laughs> they see the two, and they're like, I never thought of that. I like the the hype for Sonny, like the thought that maybe Sonny is going to be the protagonist of this next one. That'd be so cool. Wow. Sonny with a poncho. Yeah, Sunny. Sunny is Sunny the, one with the, eggs. the girl who makes eggs. The Most daughter, realistic gaming eggs of all time. The daughter of Olga, in uh, and four. In, oh yeah, oh yeah. And Jeez. Olga was a ninja in Metal Gear Solid Two. Okay, it makes sense. Sunny's got that. She's got that capability. We. She's got an inner. Yeah. Especially if she's hanging around Jack the Ripper. Yeah. And Solid Olga Snake too. She's right? picked yeah. up a few things. Oh yeah. Because you couldn't. You could. Could you kill her? On the boat? Or could you just knock her out? Just knock her out. Because then yeah. you find out she's pregnant later. Yeah. yeah. Man, they all kind of bled together in my mind. That's a good thing, I guess. Yeah, it is yeah. a good thing. Uh, so, uh, let's move on to some actual game announcements. There were some actual game announcements last weekend. Um, one of these uh, really bums me out. It's called Sonic Runners. Sonic Runners is uh, the next Sonic game from Sonic Team the uh, Japanese studio who traditionally makes Sonic games. It's a mobile game. Sonic Runners is a mobile game. It's an endless runner. <laughs> they, had a whole tra- they had a whole trailer for this game that is uh, basically clips from good Sonic games. It's clips from Sonic <laughs> 1 and 2 and 3. And now for something completely different. Yeah, it was really confusing because yeah. there was one quick shot that didn't look like any of them. And I'm like, is that Sonic four. Generations? I think it's Sonic 4. Maybe. Yeah. But it, I was confused as to whether we actually saw anything from this game. I'm pretty sure we didn't. I think, like, I think I this just is don't considered know a what teaser. We saw. Is they the did. idea going to be like you run through classic levels? That's what I was thinking. Like, is this a mishmash well, they of show some, some kind? Well, they show some newer CG at the end. It's like a remix or something? Or is it just another stupid endless runner with Sonic characters? I think this is the next entry in the Sonic series. I mean, if you're gonna do an endless runner, Sonic is a no-brainer. Prime candidate. Yeah. Because he runs. Yeah. So like, and th- he runs well. There's already an endless runner Sonic game, and I actually thought this was it. it oh. But it's called Sonic Dash, and oh. it is dreadful. Well, I'm sure. But are you sure core, this isn't a sequel? It's a Sonic game that came out in the last. 15 years, of course it's terrible. The thing is with Sonic Dash, they don't have this commercial, and it wasn't by Sonic Team, it was by some other studio. Uh, they don't. They never had an ad showing the legacy of Sonic the Hedgehog through the Genesis era and on to Sonic 4, if you count that as part of the legacy. You know, that wasn't there with that game. With Sonic Runners, they're propping it up as like, here's where Sonic's going, mm-hmm. to your cell phones. Man, I think <laughs> the final nail in the coffin for Sonic was Sonic 4. That game had potential. It was going back to the classic style. It was gonna, the episodic. It, it ended up just being two. I remember it was proposed proposed to be three episodes or something. We never yeah. even got to finish the thing. Mm-hmm. And it had potential. It, it, the the levels were way more vertical than traditional Sonic games. And if that had if that had done well, I think Sonic could have successfully lived on like a Mega Man 9, a Mega Man 10 style, these downloadable Sonic games. Now I think they're just in I remember limbo. The, the controls felt really sluggish in that one. Right, Maybe just like, like running the, up loops. It just, and it like just the re-release, as as the re-release of 2 or whatever that came out too, like the controls felt really bad for some reason. Sega, why would you do me? this? Uh, what's funny about... Uh, uh, I'm sorry, uh, Sonic 4? Oh, when episode when they said episode one, mm-hmm. when it was announced Sonic 4 episode one, yeah. that's when I checked out. Yeah. Right. Immediately. Mm-hmm. You don't do that. Come on. Sonic's I wonder if it came out like now if it would have done better because episodes and episodic is a lot more It's being done more, but I now? still don't know that it's as... It, it, it was I the early stages like, when it came out of episodic. I think, it, I think the episodes kind of kill 
some of the momentum. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think I think episodes work for certain games. Yeah, I think it's working for all of the Telltale games. I think it's going to work. I would say for... I would say that I would say that episodes are tolerated for certain types of games. <laughs> I wouldn't say yeah. that they even work. Kentucky Route Zero yeah. th Episode Three. I'm looking at you. Where are you? Yeah, I mean, Episode it, Three is out. We we kind of talked. Yeah, oh. four, four. We kind of talked two, about this a couple weeks ago, though. Like I think he's the best. You know, like we are seeing some like but Life is Strange actually has a schedule, right? Yes. Kind of. They have they every have six weeks, I think. Episode mm -hmm. two is announced for March, but three, four, and five are still TBA. They said they're hoping. Yeah, six March weeks. is still too far. I want to see them to be like a two couple weeks, weeks apart yeah. at most. And Resident Evil Revelations is kind of doing that, but then nobody cares about that game anymore. <laughs> yeah, I think I think the episodic game is hard to win. Mm -hmm. It's weird too with, with Revelations because you have four episodes that all come out a week apart, and then when the final week you have the retail copy. Yeah. It's just a weird. Just wait. Well, and, that, and that's part of it too. Is like, well, if and you all, get more stuff. If they're all done, why can't I just buy them right now? Yeah. That's so. Uh, there's a lot of strange. And the, to the it. retail thing, you get more stuff, so it's like, all right, I guess I'm just gonna wait for the retail. Can we be real know. right now? Can we be Sonic executives? No. Yeah. Let's be Sonic executives. <laughs> yeah. Let's try it. Let's try that hat on. Yeah. And let's say, where do we put our next Sonic game? Do we put it on mobile phones? Absolutely. God, I would say Wii U, but the last one. No, was, you, you put it on yeah. a phone in a heartbeat because it's going to make crazy money for you. And that's where our audience is. Yeah, the audience that loved Sonic, is you've lost them. They're gone. Yep. You're never getting them back, No, they're, ever. they're crazy diehards, unfortunately. I don't know, Ben Moore. Ben yeah. Moore is like right, the fine. biggest Sonic fan like, I've ever known, and that guy does not care the, the, about yeah, Sonic Yeah, like anymore. people like us, like I loved <laughs> Sonic 2, yeah. obviously. It was amazing. Sonic and Knuckles, like great stuff. And like... Barely even looked at the other one. Sonic, uh, Sonic and All Stars Racing is a good game. Absolutely. Transformed. Mm -hmm. Transformed. Both of them are good. So Racing Sonic and All Stars Transformed Racing is Transformed is the only one I've played, but that game is startlingly good. Mm -hmm. But Sonic um, Colors was was it Colors was the okay one? Not according to Damiani. No, I've never played Unleashed. that. Oh, there Unleashed are a lot of people that Unleashed. Like half it. of Unleashed is good. I don't like the Werehog. Werehog oh, is so no good. way though. But I mean, like you speed put, levels are amazing. You put like some kind of microtransactions in this thing. It's gonna print money for you. Chairman, if you're what Sega, do I, what do you think? Um, we are Sega. Well, yeah. I mean, I think that having a Level mobile pass. Sonic game makes sense, but I think that they could make, you know, a real console game or even a real decent downloadable console game. It's just. They haven't done anything game design wise that actually, you know, like mm -hmm. cements it to, to <laughs> feel like it's moving the series forward. And, and when you have, mm -hmm. you know, half of your games that are decent and then your other half, which are just trash, then it kind of makes it hard to move your brand forward. They gotta go 2D again. You know what I would do? What are you gonna do? Retro games are huge right now. Yeah. I would make a classic yeah. Sonic the Hedgehog game. 8-bit, 16-bit yep. graphics. Yep. That's the That's only it. way. That's the only way. Tight controls. Make it fast feel like hell. I'm playing Sega Genesis all over again. Except faster. Uh, yep. Fellow chairman, I, I see this argument, but I'm looking at our numbers here, and I don't see big profits in any... Well, if we're going to go down, we're going to go down in flames. We're going to go out with integrity, and we're going to make a game that people respect. This is we're not going to sell out to some mobile speedrunning crap. Except, except Hubert, we're a company that needs to make business. So we don't have integrity, and our soul never existed. Chairman so we're Huber making is right. I quit. No. I want nothing to do with you. I'm green lighting Shenmue <laughs> 3 today. We're going out in a blaze of glory. <laughs> uh, yeah, we are still we are still talking about the company that <laughs> said Iron Man 2 would be way better than the first one, and oh, actually man. came out with a worse game. Is it even that company anymore? Is it, is any of that still in there? <laughs> I don't. Know. It's, it's strange how much they're they're leaning on Total War though. I feel like they're gonna burn out the Total War fans. How many Total War games? I guess they're doing expansions basically. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, Attila's coming out in a couple of weeks, and then there's some other things coming out. I but think it, there was rumor of a Warhammer game. Yeah, I heard. Yeah, that. Creative yeah. Assembly is is supposedly working on one, but we've seen cool. nothing about it. Right. Se Sega's cool. Sega's best game that's come out recently is Puyo Puyo Tetris. Yeah, and we can't even play that game because of Ubisoft. <laughs> we imported it. It's great. Who's we? You and Omar? Yeah. Uh, it's all in Japanese. makes that game good. Uh, it's, it, I mean, it's Tetris, mm -hmm. and it's Puyu Puyu, which yeah. is like 
little bubble guys and they like mush into each other into each yeah. other but like so cool it's like a mean bean machine they're com- yeah it's it's like puzzle fighter or mean bean machine it's like they're combined though so like you there are a bunch of different modes you can you can switch between puyu puyu and tetris mm-hmm. and it just switches them randomly and it gives you a countdown oh you don't control mm-hmm. it cool. yeah or you can play like a hybrid where Tetris blocks will come in and they'll squish through the Puyu Puyu thingies and they'll go up above it. Oh, sick. But if they're like the bad ones, they'll go away. Mm-hmm. And then you can play other modes where like you like punish each other. Or you can play like, let's say I'm good at Puyu Puyu and you're obviously you are good at Tetris. Mm-hmm. So you could be playing Tetris and I could be playing Puyu Puyu and like we're gonna take on the we're world. like taking on each other oh, okay. versus but I'm playing one game and you're playing the other. We need to stream this. It's yeah. crazy. <laughs> yeah. We should stream it. Yeah. Everyone will accuse us of ripping off Giant Bomb. Uh, Which, to be fair, is how Omar heard about it. But, like, <laughs> he loves Giant Bomb. But, like, uh, yeah, that game is fun. Anyway, but, derail. Yeah. Puyo Puyo and Mean, Mach- mean Mach- Bean Machine are the same thing. They just localized that was, name. That was a reference I was making. No corrections necessary. But anyway, it's fun. Remember Sonic Pinball? Yeah, I remember Sonic Pinball. Fun Wait, one. isn't it Sonic Spinball? Spinball. Yeah, Spinball. Yeah, spinball. Yeah, sorry, That's sorry. important. That's very important. Sonic Spinball. I, th- I feel like that one had good music or something. What did I like? Yeah, but there? it's still a pinball game. It's yeah. not a pinball. <sighs> Pinball's cool. I don't know. You're just you're playing on a board. There have been some. No games. way. That game has context, Kyle. Okay. Me- you're Prime like Pinball. pumping uh, liquid into things. It has context. No, go on. What do you mean I'm pumping liquid into <laughs> I mean, things? I haven't played it in like 15 years, but I remember the first level was like this green slime. World. I think it's on the Mega Collection. Huber, there are people who it only listen to this as a podcast, and all they heard about Sp- Sonic Spinball is yeah. that you pump liquid into things. You're, you're, it's an accurate. The first, it's a chemical oh. plant area. Yeah, okay. chemical plant zone. Yeah, and you're you're <laughs> pumping liquid into different areas to access different areas of the the board. Okay. What do you think of Rollers of the Realm? I have no idea what that is. Oh, it's an really? RPG where you play pinball and it's too slow. Okay. Well, I think it's too Billy slow. Likes it a bit. I'm with you. Yeah, but she kind of she kind of burned more. out. Yeah. yeah, it it it's it feels like it could have been awesome. I don't know. It takes itself kind of seriously. Pinball is like that needs to be a machine in my hands for me to really appreciate it. Yeah, that needs to be a metal ball that I'm flicking around on. The a last table. thing I want to do is thank Sonic for giving me Shenmue in a sense because I remember walking into an EB Games and they had the huge TV up in the store and I looked up. And it was the first stage of Sonic Adventure, mm-hmm. where he's running from the whales, he's running on the docks. I had a Sega Genesis. I loved Sonic growing up. I saw that image and immediately needed a Dreamcast. Bought a Dreamcast the rest of history. How crazy is that story? That image Wait, you sold just, me. You were that young and you impulse bought a Dreamcast? I, I, it was for like my birthday. I was like, Mom, oh, I need a Dreamcast. Okay. I need a Dreamcast. I thought Dreamcast. you walked in and just no, bought a Dreamcast. No, no, I was like, no. what the hell kind of job did you have <laughs> when you were 14 or whatever? <laughs> Swat singing. Yeah. That, what is beautiful about that story and sad about today is that Sega says, we're doubling down on mobile. We don't want to do as many console games anymore. We lose money. That will never, no it's one will ever see a Sonic game that's just like, oh my gosh, I've never seen anything like this. It was immediate. That'll never I happen again. I immediately had to get a Dreamcast to play that game. Yeah. I mean, that's like, it's just kind of the trajectory of their company. Like, they used to make consoles. They don't anymore. Yeah. They used to make games. They don't anymore. They still they're make arcade make, games. They're going to make mobile games. <laughs> they're still investing heavily in arcade games, which I appreciate. Well, yeah, apparently the future for Sega is publishing other people's games. Mm-hmm. Hey, whatever works. Yeah. Yeah. I just wish, I wish, I wish that they wanted to make that Sonic game. I wish yeah. that the chairman were just like, you know what, if we're going, we're going on a blaze of glory, yeah. we're making a great Sonic <laughs> game. We're going down in flames. What, <laughs> what they should do is they should, like, license the Shovel Knight guys to make a 2D yeah. Sonic and just be like, here are all the assets. Shovel, they don't even need Go it. Go to town. Yeah, Shovel Knight's like, we don't want Shovel Knight Sonic. is better than any Sonic. <laughs> well, right. I'm just saying, like, some someone who's already proven that they can make a good 2D pixel art game I'm and still then on board just for that. give it to them. I you know? believe in indies. That would be amazing. Licenses. I think I, I think that's a really cool idea. A cool indie more. studio could make like the greatest Sonic game yeah. of all time. Yeah, absolutely. Go right. back to the roots. Yeah, back to your roots. Ugh, it'd be so good. And then Jack and then five, somebody though. should make a two D Metroid. That's still happening. Jackson yeah, Five. Uh, Jack is a five. Yeah, uh, baby. That is happening largely because of Sony's efforts. Mm-hmm. Yep. Like Sega would not have done that on their own, but Sony came to them and said, right, "PSN store only. Let's figure out how to do this. Is it really a <laughs> downloadable PSN only? only? No retail package. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> I like that. And if it's it means that the years. game is cheaper, 
came out in 2012 in Japan. It is cool that Sony's <laughs> willing to work for stuff like that. I, I do appreciate when yeah, stuff I, like I that. Yeah, I think that's a lot of uh, Adam Boys and his people mm -hmm. just like... Yeah, like Grim being, Fandango. Being, yeah, they're just being fanboys. And yeah. we're gonna, you're like, we're gonna come and like, I want that game. That's yeah. the thing with him, because he really is. Like, he'll, he'll just talking to him, like, he, he pushes for stuff. He's just like, I really like this, so we're gonna do it. Did you talk to him? I've talked to him a couple of times, yeah. We had... At PSX, I think, like, Andrea called him over, and, like, we ended up, like, hanging out for a while. What did you talk about? All kinds of stuff. He was on bonus round at oh, PSX. Oh, right, 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 yeah, yeah. yeah. So, yeah, like, he was hanging around, and we were talking. Seriously, Yakuza 5 is a huge deal, because that is not as extreme as the Shenmue 2 cliffhanger, but I want to finish this story, you know? This is the fifth game in this franchise. I want to know what happens. I want to finish the fight. I don't want to be left hanging. You've remained unspoiled? You could survive, yeah. Unspoiled. So you didn't like ever go on Wikipedia? And no, no. Cool. Just hanging out, hope. Yeah. Holding wow, that's going to be great. That's yeah. going to be. That'll be good. Culmination. Good yeah. Culmination. Can't wait. <laughs> yeah. That's going to be the culmination. It is. I heard like five is like one of the best, too. You're going to be weeping. Yeah. Do you ever weep? Does it, do those games get sad? <laughs> do you ever weep? Uh, I've never wept, but there, there's some. There's You've some never wept at all, ever? In Yakuza. Oh. No. Yeah. <laughs> in video games I have, of course. What, what video yeah. games have made you weep? The first one that immediately comes to mind will always be Metal Gear Solid 3, Snake Eater. Weeping, for Weeping. sure. Every yeah, time. Absolutely. Every single time. God, that game's yeah. so good. Yeah. <laughs> that is uh, made for weeping. <laughs> yeah. uh, we had another game announcement at uh, last weekend. I don't, I don't know, know if this how was you part drug of this up because I'm sure there have been other games announced <laughs> that are not this. Do you know why I drug this up? It's because there was a teaser. Square Enix had a teaser site for this. A cool Z. Inside of this Z, that's what, oh, okay, yeah. Dungeons and crystals <laughs> yeah. inside of this Z, and it said Project Z, I think, and there was a PS4 logo on this website. Is it and like it says you'll find out at TGS, <laughs> the Taipei Game Show. This game. TGS is the Tokyo Game Show. Yeah, the, but they also call it Taipei. I oh, mean, really? Okay. Lots of cities with T's. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Toronto. What is it like? Square Enix isn't Puzzles and Dragons. No. It's something gun, like that. Though. It's going to be something like that. Tulsa. Nice. So I was trying to think of some too. <laughs> Tacoma. <laughs> Tacoma. Nice. What's the one uh, where the, the it's like Eat, Pray, Love, the woman goes and under the Tuscan sun. Tuscany. Yeah. Okay. Tusc Tuscan game show where it's just like Find yourself, bang an Italian guy, <laughs> cook some human food. Whatever. Sunset simulator, yeah. Cook yeah. some human Sunset food. <laughs> it's like really weird, like midlife crisis. The suspense, though. Games. Yeah, did you have any more guesses, Ian, about what this game, what Project Z ended up being? Do you know what it is? Yes. Yeah, we oh, know. Then I'm not going to make a fool of myself. Spelunker Z. Yeah. Oh, yeah, you told me about that earlier. Yeah. <laughs> That's what it turned out to be. A uh, free-to-play, Spelunker game, four players. Uh, I got some in-app purchases in this game, only for PS4. Uh, Ouch. Wow. Uh, Huber saw this trailer and yeah. said, this is jolly, I it's like jolly. this. jolly. There's always room for a four-player co-op game in my book. <laughs> I, love, I love co-op. Uh, I will always have my deep first per, uh, single player 50 hour play in a dark room persona games but on the same time I like uh, getting in a room with some buddies and just playing a little free to play game together playing some co-op I, uh, I didn't know anything about Spelunker until Ryan Stevens and then oh absolutely he introduced I did not. That, yeah, yeah. that game to me uh, several years back but uh, and now we have Spelunky which is basically doing some of the same things <laughs> But yeah. at the same time, they put out these HD Spelunker games as well, and this is kind of just. Can you imagine in that purchases in Spelunky? It would destroy that game. Oh, it would ruin that game. That yeah. that that game had like Spelunky is like, because like Ash and Justin and all those guys, we used to play Spelunky all the time, and like, the the thing of it is like it's got integrity and it's like really hard. Yeah, so and that's the hard. point yeah. of it. And well, like there's the secrets Spelunker's everywhere. Really hard too, yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, and like so it seems like they were just like, hey, Spelunky was cool. Let's do an easy money-making version of that. <laughs> yeah. yeah, and I guess why I wanted to bring it up is the teaser. Yeah. It, was that fair? Was that fair to say Project Z, we're going to announce what this is, and then it yeah. turns out to be Spelunker It's Z. abusing. 
I think it's abusing it a little bit. <laughs> you see, Square Enix has to be aware. They have to know when we put crystals in a Z, mm -hmm. crystals is Final Fantasy. That's our yeah. Final Fantasy thing. And then for that to just end up being Spelunker Z, I don't yeah. know, it seems a that's little... Like, that's the weird thing is like, it's like someone who doesn't understand what a teaser does. It's like, hey, if you're going to tease something, you have to tease something that's already got cachet. Like, you can't just tease something that no one's ever heard of. Because then the, the ultimate reveal is always just, everyone's just like, oh. Yeah. All right. Especially teasing the PS4 logo. We're so early in these consoles right now that if you flash an Xbox One or a PS4 logo, <laughs> no, you you're get right. so hyped. You're yeah. absolutely right. We're still at that point. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, but it's just, the thing is that the game doesn't look particularly great. I mean, I, it, mechanically, it might be fine. But like, there's not a lot of production value. Like, there's not like mm -hmm. anything that being on the PS4, it's gonna be benefiting from. And no, it's like you could. You gotta that. have a lot of processing power for all those in-app purchases. <laughs> yeah, it's definitely it's not one of those games that a young Huber would see at EB Games and go, "Oh my god, I, oh my I god, look at what's possible PS4 now." Yeah, it's this. not that. You know. On the other hand, I'm happy that it wasn't like a Final Fantasy or something because if they announced like the next Final Fantasy already, I, I would just be like, "Oh, yeah. come on, guys, <laughs> sure. come on." This is 15 is like 13, seven. Just put it out and then <laughs> then do the next one. Okay. You know? Yeah, so yeah, I'm yeah. glad that it was a BS like nothing reveal. I should just be more prepared. When I see a teaser site from Square Enix, I should say, it's oh, nothing. this is nothing. Yeah, it's, it's nothing. It's basically on me. Yeah. No. We should they know. took we advantage should, of you. They took it, they did. They, they took advantage of you. That's what I feel, I feel like they took advantage of you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Are we still again. on the first topic of this show? Uh, kind of. I mean, no, those no. were three different topics. Oh, okay. Uh, plus, we got to talk about Persona. Yeah. <laughs> bonus topic. <laughs> Unplanned bonus uh, topic. Next, we want to talk about angry. Uh, something that always makes me a tiny bit uncomfortable. Talking about uh, quarterly financial reports from Sony. Uh, we saw from Nintendo. We saw from Microsoft. Now Sony's come out and said that in the last quarter we have shipped 6.4 million PlayStation 4s. Uh, so if you're wondering where to put that, it is more than the Xbox One, it is more than the Wii U. It is trending now worse than the Wii when the Wii was launching in its first few co couple of years. So it's doing worse than the Wii did, but Just, it's doing better than the Xbox One and the Wii U? Mm -hmm. The yeah. Wii was a big hot ticket Doesn't have item. that phenomenon, yeah. that, that and like cultural And the PS4 is just the phenomenon. good one. Yeah, so. well, and I think the thing is, you know, um, as you look at it, there was definitely a big shift to people getting the Xbox One because of the, you know, the drastic price, price cuts. Drop, yeah. mm -hmm. So I think if that hadn't happened, then uh -huh. you know, a lot of those sales probably would have went to the PS4. Ooh, you think Xbox One took some sales? Yeah, I think it took a, a you know, like, yeah, in terms of the momentum and, and that kind of, you know, that snowballing effect, I think it, it kind of dampened that, even though it seems like, yeah, Sony's, Sony's still in the lead and, and Microsoft has a ways to catch up. Yeah, I think uh, the price cut was really smart, especially the bundles. It was like three fifty with two Assassin's Creed games, which you know you're walking in a store on Black Friday or even in the holidays. That's a really good yeah, value. You don't know. You like yeah. Assassin's Creed. You're no, probably Assassin's like this. Creed. This, this new one's got to be great. Here's some pirate. Well, All that the value. other yeah. thing about it too, that bundle was almost unavoidable because I was trying to to get a system, you know, before the the end of the year, so mm -hmm. I could get in on that price drop. And I was like, everywhere I looked, it was there. It was like the Assassin's Creed bundle was the only the standard one, version yeah, of the only console. way to buy an Xbox One online. You know, I was, had yeah. one in my hand, ready to go to the checkout, <laughs> and, I, and I set it down and walked. Didn't like, Brad? Oh, wasn't Brad, Brad just like, was you don't like, need don't Brad do to talk to you? I don't need yeah. this. Because he's right, and because that's what I want to talk about is PS4 right now uh -huh. has two huge exclusives. Who's buying an Xbox right now when? The Order, say what you will about that game, hyped or not, and Bloodborne are right around the corner. I look at Xbox One exclusive titles in the near future, and I don't see anything. Yo, bro, I'm excited to play Evolve with my friends, so I'm really excited that's coming to Xbox One. It's also on PS4. I'm really excited about Ori and the Blind Forest. I think that game looks gorgeous. Looks I can't cool. wait to play it. It'll come so out on So basically, I think Xbox One's got a lot for me, is what I, how I'd ever retort. The, there's the, that dude that you just did, this yeah. weird non-existent bro who likes Loved Tony Ori and the Blind Forest. Forest. <laughs> that person does not exist. <laughs> <laughs> like I'm sure that they do, but I'm just kidding. But yeah. like, my God. Also, just the fact that like that's the voice you go to. 
speaks a lot. You're I right. Think, I should have done that. That was no, offensive. but I mean, like that's the crowd that is the stereotypical Xbox yeah. crowd, and like. I think yeah, Evolve. Evolve is the big Xbox pushing game. Like it's it's but more it's, of an Xbox game than a PS4 game. Yeah. It's on both, but that's a Microsoft game. Like kind of like how Call of Duty still still right. sells better on, on Xbox. And that's 1. just because that's because I think it honestly I think it goes back to Halo One and just the culture that the Xbox made back then. Like that's the box mm-hmm. for that stuff. Whereas you look at Destiny and you associate that with PS4. Because of the beta, yeah. but like though I think in the end, Destiny's the probably no worlds. Yeah. Worlds Destiny is probably on PS4. Anyway, oh my gosh, I hate getting into NPDs. I hate getting yeah. that, that deep into. But it. I think games are are the biggest part, and two huge PS4 exclusives right. Plus, like 2015 this month and next month is so big. I mean, if Quantum Break or something had a date, maybe. Yeah. I could start getting excited, but there's nothing with, with a date. <laughs> well, that's at the thing, and, and none of the Xbox exclusives have anything to even latch onto. Halo yeah. 5, people played the beta, and that actually seemed to have... A negative effect, almost. No, I feel like <laughs> from the... I mean, I missed the beta because I was out of town when it was going on. But I feel like from the reactions I've seen from people online, it, it seems to have stemmed a, a bit of that um, hate that came from Master Chief to where people are, are you know... So they're back at zero. Yeah, kind of. <laughs> but but in terms of like the campaign, like nobody even knows what to think or expect from that yeah. whatsoever. And then the Mistress Chief Quantum Break is kind of the same. like we've seen a couple of scenes, but we still don't really know what that game is. We uh, we don't even know what kind of game Scalebound is. We just know that it will hopefully be good because it's platinum. Don't even hope. You know that's going to be a good game. What was the quote about it? They were like, "This is going to." Change the world or something. They had some Whoa. outrageous quote yeah. about. But we don't even know if that game's coming out this year. <laughs> it's not. And then, what you know? And then another Forza. It's oh. gotten to the point where like no matter how much better it is, nobody's going to care because they're just used to it coming out well, every like, other year. That's the thing too. Is like, oh sorry, what were you going to say? You're forgetting about Scream Ride. So. Oh right. There you go. Uh, Case closed. Yeah, I mean that's the thing. Like all the upcoming games for Microsoft, they feel like they have all these caveats like. Uh, like nobody, tr- I feel like nobody trusts Quantum Break because of like I do. defiance and like the like TV show tie-in thing that just like hasn't worked. Yeah, they should honestly drop it. They, they should no probably way. just drop it. Yeah, and then like no. and then like yeah, the Halo thing is like so cool. because of the weird technical issues and also the fact that it's nebulous and like yeah, it's like everything is like it's like a Nintendo thing when you were talking about like where it has this fine print, you know. Whereas like the PS4 stuff is like simple. It's like. Bloodborne's gonna be amazing because it's a Souls game. The Order is probably a movie with a lot of quick time events, but it looks really good. Like, I don't know, yeah. And like the other things that they've outlined, because Until Dawn is PS4 exclusive, right? Yes. Yeah, so like the whole year, like there's stuff on on PS4, but they are all of these like, not, not exclu- like Bloodborne is, is got multiplayer, but like they're all these more like single player dark. Persona they're all five. very dark. Persona 5. Persona 5. Mm-hmm. They're all very dark looking. They're all very like, I don't know, they've got like that kind of vibe. There's a Ratchet and Clank game coming to PS4 this uh, year, even. Reimagining. Well, even Reimagining. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, you know what's funny is I think that Halo 5 coming should feel like Zelda. I feel like the fact that there's a Halo 5 this year should feel like, oh my gosh, a new Halo. But like, And it doesn't feel like that. I think it's because like Zelda, like, every time a Zelda comes out, it feels like it has this like wonder and like this joy to it. Yeah. Halo, it, it's getting more and more Call of Duty where it's just like, oh yeah, another Call of Duty game. Yeah. They need Rise of the Tomb Raider quick. Oh, that'll be this year. They need that in like summer. Yeah. Oh, and that Game Informer had some screenshots. Yeah, it, it, yeah it's that's actually totally looks, a big one. looks sweet. That's a big one. But just for a little while. For yes, for a while. That's so. I weird. think it'll be that's like still a year or weird. at least six months or something yeah. like that. Yeah, it's so weird to me. They need that. Holiday 2015 is all they can promise, or all they have promised so far. Yeah. So, 2016, it's like, hey, buy the PS4 version. But it's still yeah. in. It's still in that same kind of category, though, where we With don't Quantum really Raid. know anything about it. Sure, we know a lot. There's a whole Game Informer thing about it. Uh, a lot more survival is going to be in this one. Mm-hmm. Uh, larger open environments. How much money more did tombs. Microsoft have to pay? To oh, that for, deal I'm sure was very expensive. Unless, or they were like not going to make it or something, and they were like make it. Because like, uh, they were do you imagine how they many were other make sales? That, yeah. yeah, 
Do you imagine how many other sales they would have gotten for Christmas on two platforms instead of just one? That's the definitive edition probably. So the definitive helped, edition you know? sold twice as well exactly. on PlayStation 4. Right. As it did on Xbox One. And yeah. so Microsoft had to come and say, we will recoup all of those costs. Well, <laughs> like when so we go weird. back, actually going back yeah. to the, the sales, the, the quarterly wrap up, I mean, from, I looked at Ars Technica's article and I mean, and you can put whatever weight you want into that, but it looked to me like they were just tallying up what people have said they've sold. Mm -hmm. But they put Sony at like 19.9 .9 million shipped and then Xbox is like 11, but somewhere between 11 and 13 million shipped. So like Sony is legitimately almost double worldwide. Yeah. So if you want to say, wait, don't make your game, yeah. make your game exclusive to us, you're, you're writing also, a big like, check. Also like Tomb Raider has the PlayStation pedigree. Like it, it's a PlayStation game. Yeah. I don't know. Uh, that may have ended when they started I mean, doing that's weird done. 360 yeah, games. That's done. Yeah. But like, I mean, to me, like I just remember like Tomb Raider 1, PlayStation 1, like. Yeah. It was on PC a bunch. Yeah, think, yeah that's true. PC it was PC really as well. Started, yeah. 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 But I don't know. That's probably just me, I guess. Let's uh, let's do a couple. Uh, you're the one who started this conversations. Yeah. Uh, Love them. This here's a big one. one. You're, this is your first time. On, well, you're the one who started this <laughs> conversation. Uh, okay. Huber, we'll phrase this one to you. This is a big question. Excellent. This is from Boomer. Boomer. PC nice. gaming. Oh, yeah, you're talking to the right person. Am yes. I the only one who thinks that it should receive more attention and coverage, both on GT and in general? Yeah, building a powerful PC can get more expensive than a console, but with Steam, more console games getting ported over a lot of Japanese publishers having success on Steam, e.g. Metal Gear Rising, Valkyria Chronicles remake more recently, less frame rate locks, emulators, Kyle cringes, he wrote in there, uh, <laughs> I do. Uh, and being just an HDMI cable away from a console experience on a couch, it seems strange to me that people will dismiss it so often. Why do you think this is? I guess you have your research and your numbers for why to focus on consoles, and that is completely understandable, but don't you think that a PC deserves more credit than it often gets? I'm asking you because I'm sure Pactor would be a douche about it. <laughs> uh, I think... He would be, by the way. I think he's answered that question. Uh, first is, there, there just don't seem to be a lot of huge PC exclusives anymore. I know there's a lot of indie PC games, but like, there's no The Witcher 1 or Crisis 1 PC only games. I feel like they're always on like RTSs and stuff like Yeah, I mean you have your, you have you have Blizzard. But you mean that huge game only on PC? I yeah. get what you mean. I do get so, what you I mean. So I mean that that is that is gone and, and consoles are so huge now and everyone has them and I, I I feel like we don't alienate PC necessarily. We talk about the game itself. So that's where I'm coming from. I think a lot of it is like, it's like, it, it goes into the thing that we've talked about before, like why are all movies garbage? Because that's the, those are the movies that make the most money. Like video games are held back by consoles because when you're making a game, you have to, you have to make it so that it'll run on the lowest common denominator, like the PS4 and the Xbox One, right? And then you're like, yeah, throw it on PC too. But it's not taking advantage of how great the PC could be because it's a PS4 game. It was or sad an Xbox too. One I, was, game. I was playing Bioshock. Inf I got Bioshock Infinite on PC cuz that's just I associate Bioshock with PC and it was very beautiful and I hooked it up to my PC and I did or my TV and I did all that and I was playing with mouse and keyboard and it was sad. The mouse and keyboard just doesn't feel right for uh -oh, that I game. Played, and I played Bioshock. This. Yeah, oh yeah. no. I played it on PC as well, when I, but I, I played controller because the controller felt, felt better for that It just feels... That's so, you have to describe that. That's so bizarre to me. What do you mean? That because, the controller was because it's not a, a, a Twitch-based Twitch based Twitch yeah. FPS. It's, it's slow moving and, and just... And I think just the way that they built that world too. Yeah. I mean, it makes... Like they're building an it with the console controller, mind. you know, like you do get those like smoother pans and stuff. So if you're looking around, yeah. you know, it feels better to look around with that smooth motion than with a mouse where you're kind of jerking back and forth a little. I've been, it's like the, I want the developers to give the PC the respect that it deserves. It, 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 we shouldn't be blamed about not representing it because when a Blizzard game comes out or a PC exclusive, we hype the shit out of it. Whereas The Witcher 3, perfect example, this is a franchise that was birthed on the PC 
and I just read about the new uh, the event and everything. They only have uh, console controls right now. They haven't even done PC controls, which speaks to me that they have done the console first and then PC on the side. See, I mean, it could just be that they thought the controls were a better way to play it, too. Who knows? I get it, though, because they make their most money on consoles. For most any game, you're making more of your most of your sales on consoles, and then it's, third is usually PC. Yeah. 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 Uh, so I get why you focus on that, but why us? Why do we focus on just the consoles? Uh, I don't think that we do. I mean, I think we still kind of have that holdover perception that people have kind of had from a long time, from years back. Um, I'm not sure if that perception was ever entirely correct, um, but you know, I mean, I think we talk a lot about PC games, but what he's he, he's mentioning, we don't talk about PC gaming, and I, I think we don't, we just don't have that in our our DNA here. Like, if Nvidia announces a new graphics card or a new feature, there's nobody here that latches on and just says, "Oh my gosh," you know. Like, I remember, I remember Damiani I was, did that one time. I, I, but I remember like uh, what the other like the other week or whatever with the the controversy over the 970 and the RAM, like nobody in the office even like I had to try to explain it to like why yeah. it was even a big deal. Well, I have a gaming PC and it's just there's so much maintenance. You know, I've been building PCs since R Rainbow Six One was the reason that I am a PC gamer today. Back to EB Games, the same exact story. Story. Here's another story. I go in. I play Rainbow Six on their little uh, PC unit right there. I say, this is the craziest thing I've ever played. One shot and you're dead, one shot and you kill them. Bought the game, took it home, wouldn't run on my computer, didn't know why, called the guy in the store. He's like, oh, well, do you have a graphics card? I was like, no, what's that? Uh, <laughs> the rest funny. is history. Then I started building PCs my whole life. But, I mean, Brad, Brad, Brad always gives me a hard time because nobody takes as well of care as their PC than me. I'm so anal about it. Again, I don't download anything. Napster was just that one time when I was a kid. I don't believe that. Uh, I, I, I take such good care of it, and it still just crashes all the time. I gotta upgrade all the time. I already need to upgrade for Witcher 3, even though I bought a graphics card maybe like two years ago. It's just, there's so yeah. much maintenance. I mean, Whereas yeah. PS4, Xbox One, whatever, you buy the game, you put it in, and you're gonna be playing on the couch with medium to high PC settings. Not ultra, but good enough for me. Yeah, well, I mean, you don't have to worry about it. You yeah. don't have to worry about it. Yeah, I think that's that's a big part of it. Is and not. everyone's there. Everyone's on your friends list. You feel connected to your friends because not a lot not a lot of my friends are on Steam really. You have a couple people that are playing, you know, Counter-Strike and whatnot. But well, and I've been surprised the other way. Like you were mentioning Blizzard games, like I bought and played Diablo 3 on my computer. Yeah. And I did not like it. Yeah. I didn't like it at all. I was like, wow, they ruined it. This is terrible. And granted, back <laughs> when it came version. out, it when it came out, game. it was a very yeah. different game than it is now. Yeah. But I, it came out on the PS4, and it's one of my favorite video game memories. Four I had player Huber, local. Yeah. Omar and Ben Moore over at my house on the projector. We were playing four player local Diablo 4, 3 for like six or seven <laughs> hours oh. yeah. straight. And it was just like, the greatest thing yeah. I've ever done. And then like, I now like, just like now still, I'll just jump into Diablo 3, because it just feels better on the, on, the, on the console, which I scoffed at the idea of putting Diablo 3 on the PlayStation when yeah. they announced it. I was like, that is the dumbest idea I've ever heard. And I'm like, no way, this is the definitive version of that game, it's amazing. I think it's a thing. I think it's how we talked about how uh, it's just where, where it's simplest. It's mm -hmm. harder to pirate games now than it, or songs than it is to stream songs. Yeah, and so like if you just make this simpler, and that's what consoles yeah. are. They're just making this whole thing simpler, and that's what people are most. Battlefield Four, I play on PC. But and but but that's the thing. It's 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 a platform with for people that have the time and the money, and like a lot of people, you know, just have don't neither. have either one of those things. <laughs> yeah. Uh, you know, because yeah, like if you see that that Xbox for three fifty. Yeah. You know, you can't even get a decent graphics card yeah. for three fifty. You want a the high end <laughs> graphics card? We're talking four hundred, five hundred bucks. Also, like for me, like always, because I used to build gaming PCs and stuff, mm. and I've been Mac since I started editing all the time. But like last night, I just put a solid state drive and more RAM in my MacBook Pro, so cool. that was cool. But like, 
It's always been, and I know that you can set up your PC on a couch and, and put it on your TV or whatever, but like, that was never the thing. And honestly, it's the chair that that I don't like. Cause like, I sit at a computer all day at work, right? No, <laughs> that's Pactor's argument. <laughs> no, but like, there's something to that. Like, even when I had a gaming PC, and I was sitting there and I'm like, I'm gonna play a game right now. I would be like, eh, I'm gonna play a console game because I can just hold a thing in my hand and like, I can play it like this. You can absolutely play a PC game. Yeah, like definitely. That today. Yeah, if you have Warcraft, baby. Right, but if you have to use, if it's mouse and board, like you're like, eh, <laughs> uh, but yeah, I mean, if you run a com controller to your PC, whatever. But like, yeah. it's on your surround sound system. It's on your projector or TV. It's on your couch. You can just push a button and it starts. That's why I'm digital only now too, because I'm just like, if I have to put it, get up and go behind me and put reach up <laughs> and put a disc in the PlayStation Four, it's just not gonna happen. Yeah. The, the thing that's always weirded me out. No, it's Spotify. Absolutely. Is, yeah. Um, as you were kind of saying and, and alluding to with the controllers, is this is like, there's this group of PC gamers, this generation I feel like, that expects every PC game to be controlled mouse and keyboard. Mm -hmm. Oh, I don't think that exists. No, there are. Oh, yeah. oh, ben was playing sure. Evolve with a controller and I was angry. I was like, yeah. what are you doing? <laughs> no, I mean, there are definitely <laughs> games that like, yeah, you should be playing with a mouse and keyboard, <laughs> for sure. But the idea that it, a, a, a controller-based PC game is unacceptable, I think is something that hurts the PC market. Because That's there are right. certain types of games that are always going to pay better with the controller. Just, Bioshock Infinite. You know. Um, but I mean, that's a weird example because yeah. that is a shooter. But I mean, like an Assassin's Creed game, for instance, like, I think that they, that you can play that with a controller. I haven't really played, or I play, mm -hmm. you can play that on mouse and keyboard. I haven't really done it. But I wouldn't. Yeah. Like, I just wouldn't. Like, that just doesn't make sense. Like, I would never play Mario 64 on the stupid DS because... No, you need an analog stick for Mario 64, not a dumb touchscreen. Yeah, and then, like, <laughs> weird examples too, like XCOM. Yeah. Like a lot of people, like you can play it with mouse and keyboard or both, and the consensus around here was that it's actually better with a controller. Oh, really? Which is really yeah. surprising. Strategy. Like I remember Ryan saying that is like he's like, yeah, I really actually prefer it with the controller. And then I play. Because there's I play, a lot of just cycling like, over. Yeah, and you could just like, yeah, just tap it over, and yeah, yeah. I don't know, it's weird. But that is the thing is like when I, you know, my first experiences with PC gaming was like the Apple II and the Commodore 64, and like the Commodore 64 is like, yeah, we got a joystick. Like that was like just something we got with it. So why? Oh, I remember playing Doom over the, the years. You know, people have decided. Oh man, yeah, that's funny. Yeah. Wing Doom Commander. With, Doom Two with the joystick. Descent. Well, oh, this is later, but oh man. All right, one more question. This so is a quick for one. me, okay. developers have more. You're games. blaming the developers. You're saying I don't talk about PC games because the developers. They don't. focus on consoles every time. They have to for yep. money. They yep. have to. Developers have to. Yep. You don't have to do anything. Yeah, well, I mean, like what? Witcher and Evolve are the only games that are really pushing the graphics cards right now, too. Right. Because, and I think the tablets are a big part of that because people aren't even buying PCs as much because they have most everything they want on their phone or a tablet, so why invest in a desktop? Oh, don't even, don't start that. I would love it if Doom owning. 4 was PC exclusive. Sure, it might be. That would be, be the best. Oh, it's Bring gonna, it. That's going to be an Oculus game. PC only, Oculus. It's going to be an Oculus game for sure. <laughs> I wish. Uh, <laughs> let's, uh, let's do one more. This is from Steven. What does Ian do the whole time he's off camera? <laughs> <laughs> is he just on his phone slacking, or does he actually have to pay attention? Uh, yeah, that's it. Do, what is, does he actually? What do you do for the entirety of this episode? For like GT time? I'll back you up. Mm -hmm. Well, GT time is is I'm I'm in here. I listen, uh, and whenever uh, like blood comes in hot, usually. What does it mean to come in hot? Like he'll start talking like this, and then get quieter, and blah 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 blah. Yeah. So I have to like, if he talks, I'll go like, oh and turn him down a little and then bring him up. <laughs> and Kyle's got this witch voice. Huber, you just kind of like sat down and I put a, like to make, this, to make this show have a quick turnaround, I use a compressor in, the, in, the, uh, in my edit. So like, it just kind of like mediums everything out so you're generally at a decent thing. But like sometimes in this show it'll sound like it peaks, it gets crunchy, uh, and that's because it's peaking on the mics or in the audio, not in the camera, but like, uh, yeah, usually GT time, if it's not an interesting topic, 
uh, I'll troll around on my phone for the first like you know ten minutes trying to find a game to play, and then I'll realize that I don't want to play any games on my phone. <laughs> uh, for a while, I was reading the Dungeons and Dragons manuals, uh, but then I got through those. And by the end of it, I usually just get like warm and like tired of looking at something, so I just listen, you know. But I'm always like every two seconds, I look up at the. I was surprised. Monitor and then even audio. in this episode, you cited something we talked about last week that you weren't in that show. And that's the thing. Nobody like, told you to listen. You were just yeah, not listening. I, you know, you retain it. When you do, when you do this stuff, like I've been shooting things and cutting things, like you start to remember things. I have a visual memory. Yeah. So that's like, true. you do have to edit it again later. Yeah. So like I remember where things happen and like when I need to. Like this episode started at three minutes. Why we And the about- corrections was at seven minutes. That time will be different for you guys because it'll start at three, so yeah. the corrections will be at like five or whatever. But and like whenever you do the lock in, I'll look over and it'll be like oh, one twelve forty. And then you retain that. Yeah, and then I subtract three because that's how many minutes we dicked around before Best in the actually biz. starting. Best in the biz. Best in the biz. <laughs> Best in the biz. <laughs> Best in the biz. Yep. Uh, while we're talking about mobile games that are no fun to play, I want to talk about Framed. That game where you like do the yeah I've that game it. blows. Is that Kojima's just like it's my game of the year. This is what gaming should be. That game blows. I've it's only not seen good. it. I've never played it. Yeah, it looks like a cool idea. What's it's wrong a cool with? idea, and then you just play it for too long, and it's just like oh, the, you're dumb. You're a dumb game. I mean, how long does it take? That how, game looks like you, it beat, you beat it in like an hour. No, I played it. I think for probably more than an hour at this point. Maybe an it's, hour altogether. That's together. not. The puzzles that get is not very what contrived. a phone game is for. Who's playing a phone game? Game I thought for it was more than an hour at a time. No, it's a phone game for sure because you're just matching around like comic strip panels, but it's just like bursts. Uh. To quote Corporal Hicks, short controlled bursts. It is that though. And like then I, they take away the guns, and the other guy's like, "What are we supposed to use against them? Harsh language? <laughs> what is it? What I'm even? What what is aliens? It? Aliens? Watch doing? movies." Yeah. I've seen aliens. Short control. I don't retain all the lines. You do a couple of comics at a time. Visual memory. Think about it later. It's no, but like it gets to the point where it's just like now you'll never figure out this one. It's just like oh, it's just a bunch of dumb boxes, you jerks. That's what you hated about. Was it velocity? You're right. Where it just gets progressively, where you just have to think too much. It's not even like thinking too much. It's just you have to bang your head against it too much. Yeah. It's just like it's like trial and error almost. Yeah. It gets super at that point. So Kojima, you picked a bad game of the year. Oof. Worse than Hearthstone. Whoa! <laughs> I knew you were gonna say it. Shots fired. <laughs> Let's, uh, All over. Oh, Let's talk God. about bets. Here we go again. Let's All do right. some bets. All right. Evolve releases next week. Evolve's coming out. The game's gonna suck. <laughs> you know, while we're being honest about our opinions, let's just yeah. Let's <laughs> I played I played the technical test of the PS4 for like three hours and then just deleted it. Yeah. Because oh god, and the characters are so stereotypical and. St- Stupid. I love Sorry, co-op. I'm derailing. That game is terrible. It's not derailing. It's not my thing. Evolve. It's not my thing. That game is not. It's not bad. It's not a terrible game. It's just not my thing. Some games aren't my. Doesn't thing. feel its vibe. I don't feel the, the vibe. vibe. Yeah, yeah. Nothing more. Bad vibes. Said. Yeah, you don't like bad, its vibe. Bad vibes. It's good. Uh, Kyle also doesn't feel the vibe. And that it's game. sluggish yeah, as hell. True. The controls are sluggish. The graphics are gross looking. Ah, uh, the environments look alright. You know what I don't like about it is like I don't like the dynamic of four versus one. Bully. We you, talked about it. Yeah. You're bullying it. Yeah. You're bullying. I don't and, like being the creature. I don't like attacking three, the creature. But if you get level three, you're bullying them. That's the thing. Yeah, like, I don't like doing that. Being the cr- <laughs> like, I was excited to be the creature, and that's not. That didn't feel fun. Yeah. I don't know. Maybe it's just got like this weird like learning curve. It's got a weird vibe. It that, like, it's got a weird vibe. Like it'll take. You have to play it for like a week and a half before you're like good enough that it is fun. But it just felt like there's so much. Like the UI felt. It. It was like this weird combination of, of. Too much going on, but not enough actual information, so it just got annoying. Yeah, I don't just know. follow where the birds were, so stuff yeah, like that. Yeah, it's so dumb. It oh, might be well. good. Hey, everybody, if you want to buy it, the levels are huge. Just still buy it. I think it looks fun it. if you play with friends. Yeah, yeah maybe you gotta play with friends. Maybe playing with people I, I know. Wait to play with yeah, I think, where I can, I think you're where I can just happy. be like, yeah, where I can just be like, Huber, what the hell's going on but right then, now? Follow me in. Let's go. Yeah. But then you're gonna be the monster one time, and I'm gonna be like, oh, I gotta fight Huber now. Yeah. But I that's the weird like thing is like, I'm not even sure you can like be the monster and fight your friends. It was weird. Well, I think if you just group up with three other friends, you have four, and you always rank monster last. Everyone ranks the monster last, and you're in a party of four. Yeah. Pretty good odds. It, yeah, it should okay. be fine. Uh, so weird. So that game is coming out next week. How many Huge t- release. How many tweets will at 2K support, which is the 2K Games customer support Twitter account, make 
between 12.01 on Tuesday morning and the recording of our next episode. How much? So will, that's three days? Two, two and a half days? Yeah. How much worth a little customer support and tweet? Does not How many count tweets will I make? Does not replies. count replies. Uh, Ian, you may choose whether you want to oh. go first or last. Last. Okay. Blood, how many tweets? <laughs> Two listeners using careful thought. That's what a goatee is good for. You can just touch your goatee. <laughs> so uh, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go with an average of ten a day. I'm gonna go thirty. Thirty tweets. Yep. Holy cow, blood! What are they saying for thirty tweets? This is they're just saying, customer They're saying support. sorry, the servers are down. Uh -huh. our, we're working our hardest. Uh, oh, sorry that the game doesn't work. Matchmaking will be but better. But two K support is also going to be got a patch coming things out. that are not evolve. True. Yeah, there are other two K games. Huber. So much pressure for Jones. I want Jones to win so bad. Yeah, you are <laughs> voting for the Jones seat. Just to be um, clear to everybody. He's at thirty. Yep. I'm gonna say. Whoa. Uh, 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 Hubert also really struggling with this one. Ian quickly doing some research. He, I, I tried to do the phone. It was thing. a good it idea to buy, well buy some phone. time by going last. 35. 35. You're going above Bloodworth. I think both of you are insane. Too high or too low? It's way too high. Four is my bet. Four. I think four it's way tweets. too low. I think that's locked, in the baby. Past day, man. Yeah, that's locked. Yep, good. I feel good about that. Cool. Ian, do you have a bet? Um, we'll give you six more seconds. Say five and you're golden. Well, uh, in the well, last... You still got to get close to 30. Okay, 16 seconds, six minutes, nine minutes, 11 minutes, one hour, one hour, no two replies. hours, two replies hours. You're just looking at replies. Oh, okay. That's the thing. Try, yeah, try if it was replies, it'd be... Let's look at tweets. You're out of six, six seconds. Yeah, I'm going to say... Yeah, these are all replies. Yeah, I'll say five. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> All right. And let's lock those in. Ian, check the time. Okay. Uh, great bets, everyone. Yeah, we'll we'll see. Replies. I like that we got a wide variety. Um, let's talk about last week's bets. Last week uh, was Apex 2015, uh, the highlight of which is uh, Smash Brothers tournaments. There was Melee, which was the main event, but also Smash Brothers for Wii U. It sounded like there's a lot of craziness logistically that happened there too. They had to move. It almost never and happened. Stuff. Yeah. So here's what happened: is they had their first location. Somebody pulled a fire alarm, <sighs> and then the pol the fire the police sorry the fire fighters came. The fire, fire police. Marshals. The fire marshals came. The fire police. And like because they thought it was a fire there, and while they're there, they're like, oh, hold on a second, uh, you can't have an event in here. This is not up to regulations. Everybody go. <laughs> and so this poor tournament had to like find a new venue within the day. Wow. And they did it. They pulled it off. While it was open already? Yeah. Wow. Yeah, they'd already been streaming they this like stuff, I believe. Relocated yeah. all the people. Mm -hmm. That's incredible. It's amazing that it was pulled off in the end. That was pretty, pretty impressive. Uh, we bet on who, which character would get the furthest into Smash Brothers for Wii U. Uh, Brandon... Uh, pick Bowser for you. He knew I think he would be on the show this week. Um, Thank you. Thank you, Jones. Bowser did not compete. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the winner, of course, was Zero with Diddy Kong, uh, which was just like the cheap one. It's, it's yeah, cheap isn't Diddy too. Kong OP? He is. That's and a bad, right? Even, uh, even like the commentators, they were talking about Zero, they said like, after this tournament, he wanted to win with Diddy, and then he's going to retire that character and actually like play the fun ones. I think Captain Falcon is one of them he wants to try out. So like, he did what he had to do, basically. This guy Zero, he, he won the weird, uh, the tournament they had, the Invitational, the first ever Wii U one. He won that with Zero Suit Samus. He's a guy who wears yeah. a scarf. Hmm. Uh, yeah, so he won with Diddy Kong. Uh, you know, you just pick the best character you win. I don't know, is, is that honorable? Did, does everyone use the fast characters? Is that still a thing in Smash? Yeah, Diddy, speed over power. Diddy right? Kong is ridiculous. Everyone's so fast. Diddy Kong is speed and power yeah. and I feel combos. Like, I feel like though, if like and he's a monkey. Who did he fight? Everyone, if everyone acknowledges that Diddy Kong is OP, why would they not like ban? Oh, Diddy do Kong. like a Dota or a like they MOBA do that in Magic. They do that in everything. Thing. Yeah, or, or Captain's Mode. Yeah. yeah. I think he was <laughs> up against Rosalina in the finals. Uh, I don't remember quite though. Uh, I think that. It's too early to ban a character. Yeah. I think it took him a while to ban Meta Knight for Brawl. Hmm. But yeah, yeah, yeah. Anyway, Bloodworth looked at the tier list and he said, oh, Diddy Kong's good, huh? I'll bet Diddy Kong. 
And so <laughs> Bloodworth won. Uh, he picked the winner. So Bloodworth. <laughs> Tier lists are so funny to me. That, well, in this case, me, extremely Smash. accurate. Except I hate case, tier lists. No, if, if the four of us were to play and like one of us was Diddy Kong, there's no way Diddy Kong would win. Like that, That's irrelevant to our level of play. I'm exclusively you know I mean? Bowser, whether he's the best or the worst. Zero Suit yeah. Samus. I've never even and tried it. such a character. I was at yeah. such a disadvantage in, in Melee and Brawl because Bowser wasn't that good. My yeah, friends now you always get that drop kick. Me. Now I got the drop kick, so I got something to work are, with. But now when yeah. you win with him, yeah. you just feel so good. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, uh, let's do some tallies. So now, uh, Guest Seat has two points, Bloodworth has two points, Brandon Jones has one point, your moderator Kyle Bossman has zero points. Uh, <laughs> uh, Blood, you have earned the right to promote any video and also uh, close this out. Um, yeah, I guess I'll just go with the... Uh, uh, actually, I'm going to change it. I'm going to go with the, the community uh, top ten that I did last week. That was ridiculous. Uh, but uh, I really like the way it came out. What is the community top 10? So the whole time we were doing our ultimate game preview, I was collecting votes, having people vote on the games they were most excited for this year. Uh, and then we you know, tallied them all up. Uh, I got quotes on every game from people that left comments. And uh, so it's real fun because like people get to hear their comments read by, by Brandon Jones. And a cameo appearance from Ian Heath. Oh, yeah, that's right. <laughs> uh, so yeah, I, I want to do more of those this year. Uh, I want to. I need to find an easier way to do it, but it might require some kind of custom form because I don't like just this. I don't like the standard poll because that means you have to put in every entry. And it's easy to cheat. And it, well, it's a little easier to cheat, yeah. But I, I think the thing is, is with it just being open ended, I got like a hundred and twenty something games that were suggested. How many I would never fill out a poll with 120 games, right. you know? So, so I think that's pretty interesting, actually. But How many votes do, did you count? Can you do the thing where they write, if they write in, it just adds it as an option? Like you say other, and then it adds it as an option for the future people? You can do that, but that, that one guy who made five accounts to vote right. for Uncharted 4 is going to crush that vote. Right, obviously. Yeah, that's the thing, too, is you don't the get to see IP who votes as much. It, like, yeah. I, definitely, I definitely caught some people trying to, to spam their way in or they like, tried to make their first and their second vote for the same game and Bloodborne, stuff like that. Bloodborne, that was correct. That was the correct answer. <laughs> so, you know, uh, that, that's a, kind of a secondary thing, but I think the main thing that the, the typical poll is at a disadvantage is, yeah, the kind of becoming a giant list that people have to scan through and find the game that they want. Yeah. Rather yeah. than just type it in, put in your comment. Uh, but anyways, uh, check it out. I think it's still going to be on the front page because there's a little module for the Ultimate Game Preview. It's the big red square that's on there. Uh, and uh, here are all our Twitter handles. Uh, leave us comments, leave us questions, and we'll see you next week. I love... Let's <laughs> <laughs>